Welcome to lesson 26 about the area of a circle. Earlier on, we are looking at circumference, the distance round. Now, let's look at the area, the space, or the part which is covered by a given plane surface in circular form. That's what we call the area. So, we shall have that. Uh huh. When you talk of the circle, it is the surface is in that form. We are saying, Welcome to mathematics lesson 26 about the area of a circle. We talked about the circle in several examples when we are handling circumference. Therefore, let's go straight and look at the area. How do we find the area of a circle? Which formula do we use? That is our circle. And when you go to the next, it's talking about area of circles. How does our circle look like? We shall have this. This is our circle containing the radius, or sometimes they give you the one which is having the diameter. In the process of us looking at the area, we shall look at how to handle the circles with the radius and those ones with the diameter given. So, when we talk about the area of the circle, it is different from the circumference. This time we are saying the area is equal to pi r squared. What is our area? Area is equal to pi r squared. Let's take a look at our examples. I'm going to look at example one, saying, find the area of the circle below. Find the area of the circle below. And this is the, our part A. This is our circle. The circle is given the radius of seven centimeters. How are we going to find the area? Given the radius of seven centimeters, using the formula stated there, in that circle which is colored blue, we shall say, before that, they have even given you that as you are finding the area, use pi, equals 22 out of 7. We are going to use pi as 22 out of 7 to find the area. So what do we say? Our area is equal to pi r squared. This is our formula. Area equals pi r squared. Our area is here equals pi r squared. So if the area equals pi r squared, the next step, what is the meaning of pi r squared? Pi r squared is the same as pi times the radius, times the radius. Don't always forget. So the next step, you have to substitute. What is our pi? They have told you to use 22 out of 7. So let us use 22 out of 7 to help us find the area of that circle given. So we have 22 out of 7 times the radius, 7 centimeters times 7 centimeters. What next do we get? We shall divide 7 by 7, and we shall get our 1. The other 7 by 7 shall also get 1. We continue. Our area will be, we have remained with the 22 times 1 centimeters times 7 centimeters. Remember, we did not touch the next 7. So we shall say 22 times 1 centimeters times 7 centimeters. Remember, there is centimeters times centimeters. Not like, not like in the circumference where you just add and you remain with centimeters. So what do you get? We shall multiply 22 times 1 times 7. And centimeters times centimeters. What do we get? 22 times 7 is 154. And then centimeters times centimeters is centimeters squared. So we have the area as 154 square centimeters. And that is our answer for number 1A. A is saying use pi equals 22 out of 7. Go through the work, and then we check that. Let's look at the next. That is our part B, saying still find the area of the circle below. Uh -huh. Still our circle is having the radius of 10 decimeters. The first one was 7 centimeters. Check the units. Don't forget and use the same unit here. So if our radius is 10 centimeters, look at that 10 very well. And we move to the next step. 
It is saying use pi equals 3.14. Remember, there are very many values of pi, or very many styles they use to bring the value of pi. You can use 22 out of 7, use 3.14, or 3 and 1 out of 7. They hold up the same value. So let's look at how to simplify a B part of the question by saying our area still remains pi r squared. If our area is pi r squared, then let's substitute. This time I've gone straight. Since in part A, we expanded pi times radius times radius. This time we are going to substitute direct. The meaning of r squared is r times r, which is our radius times the radius. So we are supposed to use pi at 3.14. Can we go through that? Yes. Our pi is 3.14 this time. And our radius is 10 decimeters. So we are going to say 3.14 times 10 decimeters times 10 decimeters. What do we get? We need to change the number 3.14 as of a common fraction. So what are we going to have there? We shall say 314 out of 100. Because we have two decimal places. So 10 times 10 is 100. Then decimeters times decimeters is square decimeters. So what are we going to do there? Let's simplify. By, by 100 there, we shall remain with our 1. Then by 100 there, we shall also remain with 1. Because we have cancelled totally, there's no need of us now struggling with this thing by this one. one. So our area is 314 times the decimeter square, which will give us 314 square decimeters. Compare part A and B, and you follow through very, very well. Let's look at the next example. Saying, calculate the area of a circular mosquito net ring of diameter 28 decimeters. Calculate the area of a mosquito net ring. Majority of you come to school with circular nets that you always tie up. On top there is a ring. That is the ring we are talking about. Of decimeters, 28, sorry, of diameter, 28 decimeters. So this time, I want you to go and get your mosquito net, the round net you are using. Get that ring and try to find even the circumference of the ring, the circular one. Try even to use the circumference to find the, the diameter. And then you find the area. Get most of the circular tins, the one you always buy with milk, the packed one. They, they are those ones you call noodles, they pack them in tins. Very many ingredients. You, you, you try to measure the circular end, find their diameter, you also convert and find the area. You'll be able to practically have that. Basco tires, the wheel, the car, tell daddy, I want to know the, the area covered by this wheel here. Our teacher taught us how to find it. Please, you, you, you combine it together with the circumference so that you are able to know the diameter of the wheel. So let's look at this. When they've told, given you a question which is plain like that or like this, you are supposed to always to draw something to demonstrate or to show. What are we going to have there? If this is our net, our ring of diameter 28 decimeters, remember the formula there is saying area equals pi r squared. They have not said pi d. We are using the radius. Even the diameter can work. There is a situation where we shall say pi times diameter divided by 2 times the diameter divided by 2. But why do we keep moving to that point? So in simple terms, we can simplify change from the diameter to the radius. You know very well how to change from the diameter to the radius. By saying our radius is equal to the diameter d divided by 2. Because 2 radii equals 1 diameter. So let's substitute our 28 divided by 2, shall get it here, or 1. The other side, 28 divided by 2, shall get 14. So meaning, the distance from the center of my circle, from the center, half of this is 14 decimeters. 
half of it is 14 decimeters. There we are free to find the area, saying the area is equal to pi r squared. Dear children, we say area equals pi r squared. So let's go and find the area, since we know the radius. So our radius, our radius here is 14 centimeters. There we go to find the, the area. By saying our area equals pi r squared, Substitute in the next step. Our pi is 22 out of 7. Why have I chosen 22 out of 7? 28 is a multiple of 7. Very easy to simplify. But if it was 30, I would prefer to use 3.14 because that is a multiple of 10, which is easy to simplify with 100. When I express 3.14 as 314 out of 100. Here we go. Uh -huh. I left my second step free so that in the next one I can cancel and leave my numbers to see that I've been substituting the meaning of pi r squared is here, this one here. So let's have this done by saying by 7 we shall get our 1, 14 divided by 7 we shall get our 2. In the next step, our area will be, we have remained with 22 times 2 decimeters. What do we get? Aha, uh -huh, we get 44 decimeters. 22 times 2 decimeters, we get 44 decimeters. Then, our 44 decimeters, we shall multiply by 14 decimeters. I'm not carrying out my vertical, carried out my vertical multiplication there, but for you, you can carry out, you know exactly what to do there. What am I going to get there? My final answer, when I multiply 22 times 2, I get 44, and 44 times 14, it gives me the answer as 616 square decimeters. Look at my answer. Look at the way we have worked out. Go through very well, and then move to the next example. Let's look at the next example. Underline your work well there, then we go on. Work out the area of a circular piece of land of radius 20 meters. Work out the area of a circular piece of land of radius 20 meters. We can make our land, we can make a, a piece of land, circular, so that we design, and then we know the radius, the distance from the center, which means the diameter is 40 meters. Plant there your little crops, plant there your fruits, plant there your veggies, and it looks nice. We can also create it. As per now, you have a smaller compound. You can ask daddy, say, this part here is bushy. We can create something circular so that we demonstrate how we can find the distance around the circle using the piece of land. Okay, let's look at that. Giving us the next... So, you are supposed to work out the area of that. So, let's have it. The piece, work out the area of the circular piece of land, radius 20 meters. Of radius 20 meters. Uh-huh. We are going to say our area is equal to pi r squared. Our area is equal to pi r squared. I will not drawn this time. You can also go by that. Others will demonstrate. Others we may not. So we shall have our area equals pi r squared. We substitute by saying the area is equal to 3.14 times 20 meters times 20 meters. Why have I chosen 3.14? Because 20 meters is a multiple of 10. It is very easy to use 3.14 than 22 out of 7. So there we go. Yes, we shall have 3.14 times 400 square meters. Where did we get the 400? We multiplied 20 meters by 20 meters, giving us 400 square meters. You simplify it in that form so that we are able to move on. The next shall have that 314 out of 100 because we have two decimal places times 400 square meters. 
Let us see whether we can get the common factors. This one here, we cancel the zeros. And what do we remain with? Our area is 314 times 4 square meters. Because 400 divided by 100, we remain with the 4. So 314 times 4, carry your vertical multiplication there. Because you need also to do some work. And what do we get when you carry out? Our area is Z. 1,256 1, square meters. Look at how we have summarized. Work out the area of a circular piece of land of radius 20 meters. One, if my circular piece of land was like this one here, this one. So what are we supposed to do? We have to follow this saying, the area is equal to pi r squared. Substitute multiply and go to the final answer. There we shall be able to find the area. By the time you end, you follow through the lesson up to number three or example three, you should be able to answer any question related to the area of a circle. And this time, my activity is just next. You are going to follow it from here. We are not going to say the activity will come later, my dear learners. It is ready there. So, after finishing, review your work, follow through the example, then you go and answer the questions which are down. So, let's look at the next move here. Uh -huh. You underline your answer there. Then we go, activity for lesson 26. You will excuse me, that work is already there, waiting for what is coming. So activity for lesson 26 is here. We look at it. Find the area of the circle below. Mm -hmm. This is our first circle, A, saying use pi as 22 out of 7, and the radius is 21 centimeters. Then uh, there's also part B, uh -huh, telling you that 100 millimeters, and they've given you the, the diameter. Use pi as 3.14. All those numbers have given the value of pi for you to use. So these are other numbers. Yes. Number two is saying, calculate the area of the circular tabletop of radius 42 centimeters. And they have said use pi as 22 out of 7. Number three, find the area of a circle whose radius is 30 centimeters. The value of pi is there. The next is the circular flower garden has a diameter of 28 meters. Find the area of the garden. Use pi as three all number, one out of seven. Get that one. Read the questions, follow through the lesson, and then you should be able to answer it properly, following the examples. There's nothing we have changed from there. We have given the work more similar. So I give you two minutes so that you are able to view the work. You copy it and start answering. Thank you very much for following through the lesson. I wish you well. Please continue following the guidelines. When you are out of home, put on the mask so that you protect yourself from this dangerous disease called COVID-19. So I thank you very much. May God bless you.